How to increase the visualized screen resolution on QEMU slash KVM. I have a 64-bit Ubuntu 9.10 workstation with two virtualized guest OSes using KVM slash QEMU. Also, both 64-bit. One is Fedora 12, the other is beta of Ubuntu 10.04. The problem is that I would like to use a larger size display that is configured by default. Both guest OSes have a maximum screen resolution of 1024 by 768. I would like to increase this to something like 1280 by 900 or 1440 by 900. The resolution of the host system is 1920 times 1080. This configuration appears to be a result of the installation detecting the resolution being reported by the virtual screen during installation. The only information I have found on the subject suggests modifying the zorg.conf file in the slash etc slash x11 directory. Neither guest system has this file. I tried creating one by hand in the Fedora system and managed to render it completely unusable. Not a big deal as this is recently installed and can be reinstalled easily. Is what I want to do possible? If so, how do I accomplish it? VGA Versio. Using this option allows me to go all the way up to 4096 by 2160. Of course, this is useless since my display only goes up to 1080p, so I set 1080p. Then you can toggle full screen with Ctrl plus Alt plus F, or by passing full screen. How I guessed it, Versio in general means Simulate a generic convenient VM machine without normal hardware restrictions. Tested with this exact setup, this URL. As explained there, QEMU has a feature which automatically updates the resolution as you increase the host window size e.g. by dragging the borders with your mouse. But it also works if you go into the guest Ubuntu resolution settings. But if you select a huge guest resolution with a tiny host window, that will of course be useless, QEMU will have to sample multiple pixels into one. So generally you just want to let QEMU automatically scale for you. This screenshot shows how my guest could go up to 4K. Twenty twenty one solution for Virt Manager users. Steps. Open terminal. Virt Manager. Open VM settings. Go to Video at tab. Change to Versio. Run slash restart VM. Open settings in guest OS, for example, I run Debian 10 with X so I open X settings. Change display resolution. Here's a screenshot of the relevant tab on Vert Manager. Use the Fumfga video card. I use Vert Manager, as I'm a complete noob to KVM and Libvert. I was able to get higher resolutions on a Windows 7 guest by changing the video card from VGA to Fumfga in the Virtual Machine Settings window. Add the VGA STD flag to the command line. Basically, the virtual machine loads its own virtual driver. Hardware virtualization is necessary because virtual disk images are often copied to many different systems with diverse architectures. By abstracting the hardware, the VM images are capable of doing this. By using the VGA STD flag, you make the guestos load a standard VGA device that should be able to support resolution equal to or greater than your physical card can handle. For more info, check out this article. Note, if you're using an older version of KVM slash QEMU, the you might need to use the STD VGA flag instead. If you aren't able to reach resolutions greater than 1600 by 1200, note that there are still some issues with this option. As of 2014, if you want to get better than the 1024 by 768 resolution offered by the Cirrus Vegpu, and you are running KVM as your hypervisor on an x86 underscore 64 Hostas platform, you should look into using the QXL Vegpu driver in the guestos, coupled with the SPI server display. This can be configured from your Vert Manager GUI settings or of course from CLI ARGs. In my case, I created the VM using Vert install, put the OS on the VHDD using the normal VNC style control and the normal Cirrus Vegpu. Once everything was working and all Gestos and Hostas software updates had been applied, I used Vert Manager to change from VNC display to Spice Graphics and from Cirrus Video to QXL Video. It also helps to add the channel to your VM for Spice Agent D running inside the guest, which allows you to cut and paste data in between Gestos apps and Hostas apps pretty decently. 
Besides offering high resolutions, the QXL slash Spice setup was a big improvement over the Cirrus slash VNC setup when watching videos in the guestos. I actually got some thermal trip warnings from the CPU when attempting to watch full screen videos in 1024 by 768 Cirrus slash VNC. But the laptop ran cool and the fans were quiet when doing full screen 1920 by 1080 video with the more efficient QXL slash Spice option. There are limitations on what sort of installations are supported by QXL slash Spice, but if your systems can use them, they are recommended for improved 2D and video playback. This URL, scroll down to a enabling Spice using Vert Manager. I wasn't prompted to add the channel, as the page claims, but it wasn't hard to add manually. If you are working with Windows Guestoses or having trouble with the brief instructions at the linux-kvm.org site, see here, this URL, but beware both the wiki and the main site are woefully out of date with many pages from 2009 through 2012, so tread carefully. The project is actively developed, but not very actively documented. QXL slash Spice is not especially straightforward at the moment and may not work in your desired software slash hardware environment. Still, with a bit of elbow grease it can be made to work and the upside is significant, especially if battery life and or fan noise are concerns. You won't get truly high performance graphics, investigate FIO and VTD slash IAMA pass-through for that possibility IFF you have the specialized CPU plus GPU hardware needed and plenty of time to try and get it working. QXL slash Spice gives decent 2D and video playback speed though. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.